YouTube, it's me again, it's Jelanda, and I'm coming to you with a special, special video. And actually, this is my second time recording it because you guys, guess what? I was recording when I was changing clothes versus when I was talking to you. So when I went back to take a look at the footage, it was all of me changing clothes. And that is not an appropriate YouTube video. So I had to start all over again from scratch. So it's me again, it's Jelanda. I'm coming to you with a thrift store haul. I went to Thrift Town here in my city. Love me some Thrift Town. Their prices are good. They're having a 50% off sale on Monday, but you know what I said, you know, I'm going today. And I went on a Friday afternoon. It was pretty um, mellow because I think everybody was waiting for the 50% off sale. And as you guys may know, my last Stitch Fix uh, box was not a home run. So usually what happens when I've already budgeted a certain amount of money for my Stitch Fix box, if it doesn't work out well, then I go and I go to the thrift store and I see what I can find at the thrift store. And normally I end up getting way more for way less than I would have spent on one item um, with Stitch Fix. So really quickly, I'm gonna show you the items and then, sorry about that, then I'm gonna try them on. Now I'm standing, I don't normally stand in my videos, but this is probably gonna be the first of many videos where I may be standing. People have wanted apartment tours and, and things, you know, me to do some other kinds of videos and I do plan to do that. I really wanna grow my channel, I wanna reach more people, I wanna to get to know more people. And so in order to do that, I've gotta to continue to get keep getting better and keep offering uh, good quality content. And sorry about this, I'm chewing this gum and it is delicious. So here we go. Um, Liz Claiborne, Western style top. It's got the detail in the front and the detail in the back. You guys, is so, so cute. It was 80 cents. Um, this is by Arizona Jean Company and it's a denim chambray shirt. I've been looking for one of these. In fact, I was gonna ask for one in my next Stitch Fix video, in my next Stitch Fix stylist, note to my stylist, but I found one at the thrift store that was $2.99. I found a pair of cargo pants. They were $2.99. I thought I can't pass th these up. They're from Calvin Klein. And then I also found a pair of uh, straight leg denim jeans that are kind of distressed, which I was also going to ask for from Stitch Fix. These were 80 cents, crazy. Actually, no, those were $1.20. The shirt was 80 cents. This cute uh, t-shirt, um, I got a cute t-shirt in my Stitch Fix box, but this is, that color that I've been obsessed with lately, this is that wine color. This is from American Eagle Outfitters. You'll see the cute detail in the back when I try it on. This is just one of those cute little polyester blouses from Forever 21. These are things that I love to wear to work. And in the winter time, I'm gonna really appreciate that it has sleeves on it because offices can be so cold. And then lastly, well actually second to last, uh, this item is a cute, uh, striped dress from Ann Taylor. And then lastly, I picked up a, a um, workout outfit. It is missing the drawstring. It was $2.99 for the pants. Pants can be really expensive, these kind of spandex pants for the gym. So I was really happy to find those. I have some elastic from the dress that I made that I will go ahead and see if I can't string through there so I can establish another waistband for it. But these have all been laundered and cleaned and this is a, the uh, sports bra that goes with it. It's a short one, so I'll probably wear a tank over it, but I just couldn't beat this as a, as a set. It didn't come together, but I found them in two different spots and they match. And I was actually looking at Stitch Fix Excuse me, and Stitch Fix had a, um, not Stitch Fix, Fabletics had a set like this, and their sets were 60 bucks for tops and bottoms. Now, granted, it's Fabletics, and I guess it's nice quality, but this, to me, will do just fine to get sweaty in. It's by TYR. I have no idea what company that is, but it feels a very good quality, good stitching, and these were Everlast. I think that might be Target or something, but anyhow, Hey, six bucks versus $60, I'm not complaining. I also purchased two pairs of shoes. These blowfish um, shoes that can be worn as either a booty style like this 
or they can be worn like a mule. I loved this green, this um, brown color. I thought it was a very cute neutral shoe and it'll look good with denim and even maybe even um, skirts and dresses when it is um, more of a sling back booty. And the other ones I purchased, sorry, I feel like I have something in my eye. The other ones I purchased were these by Dexter. These are actually real leather and they're flat black booties. They were uh, $7.99 with 30% off, so you do the math. I could scrunch them down or wear them straight up, or these, you also have the option of folding them down and styling them that way. This is an old uh, style, but I tend to lean toward some of the more clean, um, silhouettes in my shoes because I like for my clothes to do the talking most of the time and so sometimes just a very plain shoe works really well for me okay so I'm going to try the try-ons one more time for you guys okay just one second first item the forever 21 studded shoulder top you guys know I love some studs and uh, it's just a nice blouse it'll be nice for for, like I said, we're in work, and I could even dress it down for the weekends, going out to dinner or lunch or something with girlfriends in the winter and fall. I love that it's long sleeve because the office can be so cold that it's sometimes nice to be able to have something that's long sleeve. And polyester always runs warm, so it's a good fabrication for winter in an office building. Next up is this wine colored top from American Eagle Outfitters, and that is the cute cross. Uh, strap design in the back that's super big. I wanted to see if I could turn it around and do the cross straps in the front, but it was too dipping too low. So if I did it that way, I'd need to wear a tank under it. But I really like this top a lot. I think it's a great uh, length. Um, I love that it's V-neck and I really like that style in the back. And here's that dress by Ann Taylor. It's got the cow neck that always really flatters uh, people who have the larger um, breasts so you know it helps me balance me out a little bit up top and then I put on those little brown booties with it because I thought huh you know maybe with some tights in the fall and maybe a jean jacket or a blazer it would be really really cute okay so here is the uh, sports bra and the pants now the pants and the sports bra do not meet in the middle the um, the sports bra is um, more of a cropped design and I'm not comfortable enough with my body to show um, to show my belly like that so I just want to give you guys a quick so that is <laughs> that okay so it wouldn't be my intention to wear that sports bra and those pants by themselves I would absolutely be wearing a tank top over that sports bra so just for the purposes of that video I tried it on um, this is that Liz, Ta Liz uh, Claiborne top and I've tucked it into the just fab straight leg de-stressed jeans you can roll the sleeves up if you want there's the back of it um, the back of the jeans too they're like a mid-rise I think for a dollar twenty you couldn't really go wrong with these jeans at all so that's his look okay here's the shirt with the green cargo pants and the um, and the brown booties. I just think this is like quintessential fall kind of an outfit. Pants were $2.99, like I said earlier. And last but absolutely not least is this chambray um, top. I love that it's fitted. Um, I do have a little bit of gap, you know, gapping going on here between the buttons, which is usually what happens when you have 34 triple D breasts. So I will pin that and I'll iron it so it will stay closed, but I just love a chambray top. There's so many things that you can do with it, so many ways you can wear it. I believe this was, I said this was $2.99. Um, you can roll the sleeves up, wear it with pencil skirts, wear it with whatever, wear it open. Um, over Even over that dress, I could wear it open. But I really like it tucked in, or you could wear it out. It's just a really versatile piece. So what was your favorite of all of the things that I picked up from the thrift store this time? Um, 
yeah, what was your favorite piece? I'm looking forward to doing um, more styling videos. I think I've talked about this before where I can kind of show you how to style things different ways and maybe even do my outfits of the day um, for, there's another uh, YouTube content creator uh, named Girl in Boston or something like that. She does like every outfit every day. And I, I love that because I really do spend more time putting my outfits together in the morning than I do when I'm just doing these rant, these uh, quick haul try-ons for you guys. I really do put a little bit more attention and effort into my styling. And I'd like to share that with you and kind of how I think things through in terms of the jewelry that I wear and all that kind of stuff. So I do plan to do some more of that or do some of that starting very, very soon. So until next time, stay tuned, stay positive, stay on budget. Share my videos, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.